Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're talking about the install command, which is maybe not named the best, um, but I'm going to show you what I use it for. Uh, there's also some other uses that I don't use myself, but I'll show you those as well. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so in order to get started with install, we're going to do man install. And it has four different ways to call it. I've only ever used this one, but we'll go over these other three later. Um, and what install does is it basically allows you to copy, but set mode or owner or other things at the same time. So instead of doing like CP and then chmod, uh, you can just do install to, you know, take those files and put them in the right place at the right mode. Uh, the one that I use it for the most often is install dash D, which is going to create a series of directories and set their owners and such as well, um, which is similar to doing make their dash P and then, uh, you know, running chmod dash R on them. Uh, but anyway, let's let's uh, let's start by showing an example. So um, you run the install command, and I'm going to show you install dash D since that's the one that I know really well. Um, and you can pass it a series of arguments, foobar, baz, and it will create this directory structure. So if we look at tree foo now, you'll see that we have foobar baz. Now I didn't do any of the special like actual stuff that install does here. So this is just like the very same example as if I would have done make dir dash p, um, you know, a, b, c, um, you know, that, that works exactly the same way. Uh, but install gives you a little bit more power than that and allows you to set owners and stuff. So like one common operation that I've used this for is in Docker files where I need, you know, I need to create a specific directory and give it a specific owner, for example. And so let's just uh, remove foo and a for a second. Um, so let's say that I, and I have to use sudo here because I don't, oh well, yeah, I have to use sudo, yeah. Um, so you can actually use some of these other arguments down here. So for instance, if I want to set the owner, uh, is there also group? Yeah, owner and group. So let's say I wanted to assign this uh, directory to be owned by nobody. Uh, nobody is a special user on, uh, well, I guess it's not a special user. It's it's a conventionally special user. Uh, owner equals nobody. And then uh, group, I, I think nobody's group is also nobody. Um, so I could set sudo install dash d, so create directories, have their owner be nobody, have their group be nobody, and then foo bar baz. Of course, I need to type my bad password. Uh, invalid group nobody. Uh, uh, groups nobody. No group. OK. <laughs> Apparently, it's called no group. Uh, but yeah, so now I've uh, ran install with owner nobody and group no group on these directories. And if we look at these, uh, you'll see that it has created. Oh, wait, why is that one owned by root? Uh, uh, huh, I guess it only creates the lower one? That doesn't seem right. Maybe it's because of the error from the first time. sudo rm dash r foo. Let's try this again. Uh, yeah, huh, huh. I guess it creates the uh, top ones as foo. I bet there's some option to make it do it for all of them. Um, I guess that's not what I expected. Um, but anyway, the, the point here is the, the bottom. <laughs> The bottom directory is owned by the the proper user that you would want. Uh, so if you if you wanted to do something like this with you know like creating a home directory, you might do install dash d home slash my user uh, you know owner equals my user uh, user group equals my user. That way you can uh, my user something like this. I'm not actually going to run this command because I don't have a user called my user. Um, but yeah, you might use this to, you know, create a home directory at the same time. Now, of course, you could also do the same thing with two commands. You could do, let's see, uh, you could do mictor dash p foo slash bar slash baz and then do sudo chown uh, nobody no group uh, foo bar baz and then that would, um, you know, change change the owner and group there. Um, but sometimes I find that install is a little bit more convenient there. Now note that the name is confusing, and so <laughs> they have modified the man page here to mention that like uh, this is not an installer despite being called install, uh, that you should use your package manager for doing stuff like that. Now the other forms of install are more like CP, so you can see like uh, you can do a number of sources to a directory. So if we did like touch ABC, 
t.py and we make a like destination directory here. You can do install a b c to dest and it will it will work almost exactly the same as copy. Uh, interestingly, it sets the executable bit on those. <laughs> that's, that's not what I expected. Um, set the position. Oh, I guess it defaults. Uh, you can't see that because it's off screen. It defaults to uh, 755, it looks like. Interesting. That's not what I expected. Uh, but you can also, you know, again, set uh, mode, you know, 0600 if you wanted to, and that would change the mode inside. Uh, destination for those files. So you can see that we have set the mode here. And again, you can also set owner and other stuff as well. Um, but yeah, and then these are these are the other options here as well. So, um, but those are the most important ones. Anyway, this is install. <laughs> Hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.